contact. Breaking orbit. Southern Rust Belt. They will never stop coming. Oxen scream, calling for volunteers. Enlist. Resist. The Game Awards 2021 took place yesterday and man was there many many games revealed. I have videos plans for days on all the games. But there is one particular game in this reveal that I was waiting for the most. Since we all knew it was going to be revealed on that day. That game is Ark Raiders, a new open world adult action PvE game made by a massive number of ex-Battlefield developers who worked on Battlefield 3, 4 and 1. If you guys have been on the channel recently I think you definitely know about this one no doubt. I told you guys they were using photorealistic graphics and were inspired by Battlefield to create an all-out war feeling since, well, they're ex dice developers. And so, they created something all-out but completely fresh and separated from Battlefield, which is a PvE-centered game where you'll fight different unique machines, each with different attacks, and the big arc boss that can learn everything on its own, and never moves the same path or the same way as before. Arc Raiders is coming to PS5, Xbox Series X, and PC completely free to play which is a really massive move in my opinion because a game of this scale is gonna bring a ton of players already and it being free to play could definitely blow up this game to the scale of all battle royale games even though this one isn't a battle royale game at all the developers really want to make clear that this is a game specifically about teamwork pointing out that looting enemies and the world itself will be key to survival there's also an emphasis on using physics which we see in shots of grappling hooks and jump pads. Here's what the developers had to say. We started Embark Studios three years ago with a blank canvas and some big ideas. Today that canvas is a lot less blank and those ideas are becoming realities, said Sutherland in a press release. With this reveal, we want to celebrate gameplay and give players more than a hint of how Arc Raiders looks and what it feels like to play. Ultimately, for a co-op action game like Arc Raiders, that's what matters the most and it's gonna be big, chaotic, and free to play. Arc Raiders is a a cooperative third-person shooter where you and your squad of raiders unite to resist the onslaught of Ark, a ruthless, mechanized threat descending from space that wants to destroy Earth in any ways it can. It will in fact destroy many places in front of your own eyes, but you'll be able to stop it if you're up to the task. You play as one of the raiders, a rogue group of resistance fighters. With the help of a patchwork early warning system, you fight to protect the human's home against enemies dropping from orbit. Ark is faceless and unfeeling, but no one could accuse Ark of being unresponsive. In fact, Ark responds to resistance with ever-increasing destruction in every place it goes, with beautiful simulated destruction that could remind you a little bit of Battlefield, because yes, there's gonna be destruction in this game. As a raider, you know that defeating Ark requires more than simply pointing and shooting a gun, and more than one person trying to be a hero. When Ark is around, which is the big spider machine and its other machines, and its other little machines, machines, lone wolves never make it very far. As underdogs, players need to believe in something bigger than their own strength, in something unapologically human. That's why the humans come together in this game, not against. It's not a PvP game at all, like I expected myself before the game was fully revealed yesterday. United amid the unlikelihood of success, what seemed implausible may just become the best course of action. So by all means, come prepared and plan ahead, but sometimes you just have to wing it. Scavenge the runes of the past, wield tools and gadgets to outsmart the enemy, use on the fly tactics, your surroundings, and physics to your advantage, says the game's description. If you and your squad play well together, one day the stars may again become beacons of hope, instead of omens of oblivion. Go beyond simply matching ammo to a weapon, experience action, or combat demands on rehearsed creativity. Here's what the game website has to say about the game's characters, also enemy machines, and the weapons. First, we have have Celeste. Uprooted and abandoned, Celeste lost everything to Ark. Yet, she built a new home and forged a new family of skillful resistance fighters, which are called the Raiders. Next, we have the enemy machine Roller Bot. This vicious ball of pain has nothing in mind other than chasing players to death. On the upside, if you can knock this thing down, Ark machinery is useful for crafting better weapons, which help when the odds are against the players. And you'll be able to keep these weapons later in the long run. On the downside, Side roller bots travel in packs. Next, we have the Owitzer weapon. Firing this giant cannon is not.
not a one rater job, you'll need to choose your moment and target wisely with this cannon. It is at least a three rater job. It's extremely hard for lone wolves to survive in this world all alone. Next we have the character Lance. As a resistant fighter, he has the same target on his back as any of the other raiders. He's a droid and a very strong one and can craft different weapons from roller butts. Lastly, we have the snap hook weapon. If players are able to spot a ledge or a ridge, players can use the snap hook to latch onto it or onto a smaller butt and see who wins the tug of war. You can find these hooks somewhere out in the massive open world. Alright guys, that is all we know for our creators. Let me know what you guys think of it. I think it looks really great, but we'll have to see in more gameplay. Let me know what you think and support this video for more and of course subscribe.